You're saying that these people are not angels. If they get a discretion, sooner or later, some of them are going to abuse it. In our Constitution Reader, we read the progressives. John Dewey's argument is, it's a new world, really different. And as the world changes, he goes on to argue, it changes how we think. John Dewey says those principles in the Declaration of Independence, he says those fit for a pioneer agrarian society. People thought like that, right, back then. And so everything's changed now. The old idea was we're human, we're capable of really great things, says the Federalist, and we're capable of really bad things, says the Federalist. And so we need to arrange the government so that there's a bias in favor of the good things we can do. And government should be limited, just strong enough to protect us from one another and don't give it absolute power because men are not angels, true enough, and they have to have government, but angels do not govern men. That's one world. And another world is, wow, look how much more we can do. By using these techniques, let's do it. Let's get going here, right? Let's solve these problems. Let's get these checks and balances out of the way. Let's stop this kind of government that's offset against itself so it's always hampered and always a problem, right? That's the argument. And if you just look at the power of modern science, look at the incredible things it can achieve, doesn't that argument have great force? But I, you tell me, what's wrong with the argument? I don't know that I'll be able to fully develop this, but it seems like in the last couple days, we've really uh, established that the true genius of the Constitution was separating the sovereignty from the power and keeping those two things separate so that they can check one another and keep an eye on one another. It seems as you move towards this bureaucratic structure that we're talking about, you create like other tyrants. You create health problems or economic problems as tyrants. So in order to combat that, you have to like, they're arguing to recombine that sovereignty and the power and put them in the same hands to combat that. But then we forget that fundamental principle in the Declaration of Independence, like all men are created equal. And when we yoke the sovereignty and power again, then we challenge that very thing, that all men are created equal. You mean, you're nodding, what are you gonna say? Well, we're talking about how, whether or not it, the principles of the Constitution still apply in a radically different world. But even if it were not an agrarian society anymore, we're still a society of humans and human nature doesn't change. Uh, we still suffer from the same ills and make the same mistakes. So you're, you're both saying in different ways. Your argument is like Madison's are, but you're saying that these people are not angels, right. right? And so if they get a discretion, sooner or later, some of them are going to abuse it. You're saying that doesn't change. And you're saying that's nature. The excellence of the human being is nature and the fallings of the human being our nature. And nature doesn't change. Because remember, we define this term nature, right? And this term nature governs, it starts with babies, it starts with seeds. But then it includes this fallenness of human beings, right? This capable of greatness, capable of evil, both. And that arrangement of government. And if you set out to overcome that, then here's the final question. If you can design your society any way you want to. What standard will you use to design it? What can give you any guidance? I can tell you what happened in Nazi Germany, right? Because they just go right down this road. And what it means is the guide that remains after everything else has been eliminated is strength. Only power can arbitrate. Now what that means then, I argue, is that these problems that come up in society, sure enough, one of the reasons we have the government is to help solve these problems. 
But if we think about it, we understand that, yeah, of course, we need to make things better in society. We need to treat people as well as we can treat them. But also, we have to be a little suspicious of concentrating power. Thank you for watching. We hope you're enjoying our highlight series and invite you to explore all of Hillsdale College's online courses. They are free and for everyone who loves to learn.